what's up guys this time i'm gonna be starting a, a, a different version of the build order breakdown series which is actually gonna be called the cheese order breakdown series and what i'm gonna be going through in this series is actually giving you builds that can be considered quite cheesy right and i'm gonna start doing this uh, by doing a cheese I've been doing in tournaments versus Zerg for a very long time now and I think it's the strongest type of Hellbat push there is the Hellbat Marauder push and I'm gonna be starting a very simply just by opening Barracks Expand here with the Reaper you can of course open it however you prefer you can go marine into expand or you can go even reactor first into expand that one i think is not so good and for this build simply because it's nice to have that little uh, extra piece of scouting and also the reaper really helps the push later on and you want to make sure that you have enough minerals to do the rest of the build so i wouldn't recommend reactor first but if you want if you're don't want to control the reaper you can go for a marine as totally fine now here you can choose to scout with your scv it's totally up to you for the sake of simplicity i'm not going to do it in this guide instead we're just going to use that scv to build the command center whoops didn't mean to pull that scv uh, but this one is just going to build a command center on location and as soon as possible you're going to build a depot after the command center make sure to always shift click your scv back to the minerals so that you can safely complete. and most optimally go back to mining and then i'm already gonna send my scv here at around like 80 gas and it'll get there in time to build your factory as soon as possible now here's what's important your marine after the reaper is going to prevent the zerg from scouting your build so that what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this marine and patrol it in the borders. Here you can do some kind of micro. I imagine a normal Zerg player will probably have a hatchery up here. Uh, but for the sake of the guide, I am of course playing against a newbie AI just to show you what the build is like. If you guys like, by the way, you can also suggest in the comments below uh, for me to show like a snippet of me doing it in a live game. Of course, it is hard to commentate in a live game exactly to show the build. Uh, but going back to the build here, of course, you're going to build a starport as soon as you have the gas, as soon as the factory finishes. And you're going to swap these add-ons. Now, this part is quite important. You have to build a tech lab on your barracks as soon as possible. And that is that is the add-on that's going to allow us to build those marauders. And all you have to do is rally the Hellions onto your ramp. And make sure that you're constantly building SCVs. And as soon as this is done, you're going to make a marauder. You're not going to make concussive shells yet. And you're not going to make a medevac yet either. You're going to instead go for a viking. Now... At this point, you might have to cut a few SCVs uh, because it might be a little bit hard for you to produce units constantly. But don't fret. If, it's, if it makes your push stronger, then it's totally fine. Now you can see the Viking is almost done. This is the important part. You're going to start a medevac and an armory at the same time. And only then will you start your concussive shells. Make sure to keep building depots. I've kind of been slacking here a little bit on the depots, so I am going to throw down one. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just trying to show you the build here. But most importantly, don't get supply blocked on these. Use your Viking to clear overlords. You can keep microing your Reaper if you'd like. Honestly, it's a bit hard, so <laughs> I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. And as soon as this medevac is out, we're going to F2 to the front of his base. Now, follow-up. You can keep making marines from this barracks if you want. Uh, they're kind of useless to be honest, so I wouldn't even bother. Uh, you, but on the starport, you absolutely want a liberator. And don't forget to hotkey your units um, so that uh, you can uh, micro them more effectively. And you're going to boost this medevac ahead of your army in order to catch any queens that might be out of position. 
Because of the concussor shells, if there are queens out of position, you can easily catch them with the Hellion Marauder build. And that's how you execute this build. Let's see how it fares in a real game. We're here live in a real game. We're attempting the same build against a Grandmaster Zerg. This time I will be concentrating a bit more. As I do, we'll try to get some damage done with this Reaper. This isn't super necessary, of course, but... I think it does help if you can get kill a couple of Lings. If not, that's no big deal. If you can get a drone, it's actually spectacular. It's even better than getting Lings. But behind that, just make sure that you're saturating your gas at the proper time, and then you start your orbital and your starport at correct times. I like to keep my uh, Reaper in front just in case there's some Roach push coming, but other than that, the build will remain the same. You can use the Reaper if it's not harassing, you can at least use it to scout the third base timing. But other than that, nothing too crazy. Complete. Add on. Complete. Couple of Hellions, Marauder, and oops, Viking. Yep. And remember, building in SCVs is secondary. The most important thing is making sure all your units are building non-stop. Also, you want to try and uh, not allow him to scout your, your builds that easily. And you can do this by leaving a couple of Hellions at the front door in case a, a Zergling comes by and tries to sneak in a scout. Viking is out. You can start the Marauder, the Armory, a couple of Hellions, and only then will you start the Concussive Shells. This Overlord did dodge my Viking a little bit, so he will get a bit of an early scout on it, but I think his scout is a bit too late for him to be able to react. Also notice that if you don't get supply block like I did in before, you will have three Marauders in time for your push instead of two. So I would recommend not getting supply blocked. You can also land the Viking together with your push. Just make it a little bit stronger. Make sure you're building supply depots behind it. It's not super important because you will be losing use units anyways. So depots are not super, super important. But you do need at least one to make sure that your reinforcements will be keep streaming. And at this point, your Hellbats are basically charge lots just wrecking havoc on the guy's base. All you need to do is make sure that you don't overextend with your units a little bit too much like these Hellbats are. Make sure your unit is nicely tight and a nice uh, little ball formation and you will collect an easy win well that was it for the video guys i hope you liked it uh i know it was a bit rough around the edges but i imagine they will get better as time goes on and i get more practice with it but as always let me know what other builds or what other matchups you would like to see from me and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe see you guys in the next video Bye-bye.